and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to begin our look at the three different ways in which you can think about the liver lobule structure. And today we're going to have a look at the classic lobule, which is the sort of histologist way of thinking about the structure. So let's start our three minutes. So in the classic lobule structure, what we do is we think about the structure of the liver lobule, basically as we see it here. This is the sort of typical idea that the liver lobule is roughly hexagonal in shape, um, which I'm sort of outlining here, with the major focus of attention being this central vein in the middle. So we're just getting there. And if we change this here, we've got our central vein in the middle. And the idea is that, of course, we've got these six points, which are our portal regions uh, or our portal triads. And within the portal regions and the portal triads, we have our branches of the hepatic portal vein, which I'm indicating in blue here. And we also have, remembering we have a dual blood supply in the liver, we have branches of our hepatic arteries. And they exist within the same sort of portal regions, the portal triads. And the idea being, of course, that the blood supply pulls for that dual blood supply and then eventually drains into this central vein. All percolating through these liver sinusoids and eventually draining into our central vein here. So this is our classic lobule structure, the sort of typical histologist way of thinking about the liver. The idea of the hexagon with the portal regions, with our dual blood supply, with the dual blood actually coalescing and then draining into this central vein. So this is the classic liver lobule structure and I hope you found that useful.